Hello, this is Leroy Meadows, and welcome to this session. Uh, today's session, we're going to be doing an example out of your book at the end of Chapter 8. And this exercise is going to be 8-21. So you want to go ahead and turn there, or you can read the uh, snippet I have over here regarding the problem. So let's go ahead and get started. Esquire Clothing is a manufacturer of designer suits. The cost of each suit is the sum of three variable costs, direct materials cost, direct manufacturing labor costs, and, ma and manufacturing overhead costs, and one fixed cost category, manufacturing overhead. So we have three variable costs in the producing of each suit, direct materials, manufacturing overhead, and variable manufacturing overhead. I'm sorry, direct materials, direct labor, and variable manufacturing overhead, and then one fixed cost category of manufacturing overhead. Variable manufacturing overhead is allocated to each suit on the basis of budgeted direct manufacturing labor hours per suit. So in other words, whatever our uh, budgeted estimated overhead for variable costs, our allocation budget or our allocation base is going to be direct manufacturing labor hours per suit. For June 2017, each suit is budgeted to take four labor hours. Budgeted variable manufacturing overhead cost per labor hour is $12. The budgeted number of suits to be manufactured in June 2017 is 1,040. Actual variable manufacturing costs in June 2017 were $52,164 for 1,080 suits started and completed. There were no beginning or ending inventories of suits. Actual direct manufacturing labor hours for June were 4,536. And the first thing we're asked to do is to compute the flexible budget variance, the spending variance, and the efficiency variance for variable manufacturing overhead. Okay, so let's take our actual costs incurred. And we have our actual costs incurred, we're told here, 52,164. So I'm going to place that there. And since they gave me an amount and not an overhead cost rate. I want to figure that out too, just for future references if I need that. So actual variable overhead rate. And how do I figure that? I figure that as taking my 52,164 and dividing that by the number of actual labor hours incurred. So, 52,164 divided by 4,536 direct labor hours. And so my actual overhead variable rate is what? 1150. So, we got that there. So let's go ahead and format these cells real quick. Now let's take a look and just work our way through from left to right here. What's my actual input quantity times my budgeted rate? So how many hours did I actually use? Well, I actually used 4,536. And it says times the budgeted rate. And my budgeted rate, we are told in the problem, is $12. So 4,536 times $12. So I've got 54,432. Now let's take a look over here and take our flexible budget. Budget input of quantity allowed for actual output. So how many yard or how many hours was I supposed to use if I'm making 1080 hours? Remember we're told in the problem that we made 1080 suits and each one was budgeted to take 4 hours to make. So 1080 times 4 and that tells me that I should have used 4320 direct labor hours. Now we're going to take the amount number of hours I should have used and multiply it by 12 for $12 per direct labor hour. And my flexible budget amount for variable manufacturing overhead was $51,840.
And for the allocated budget here, it's going to be a budget input quantity allowed for actual output times a budgeted rate. So exactly, it's tell me that I need the same thing as here. So I'm going to put that there. So is there a variance here? No. There is never a variance between the flexible budget and the amount that's allocated based on, or that's allowed based on actual output. And we'll talk about that here in the next video, but this is relating to a production volume variance. Variable manufacturing overhead will never have a, uh, a production volume variance, so we will never see a variance here. However, I can now compute my price uh, and efficiency variances. My price variance, I can take the difference between this cell A3 and cell C3. And when I do that, I will get 2,268 dollars and that's a favorable amount and why is that favorable because my by the amount I actually spent was less than what I had than at my budgeted rate and why is that because my actual variable overhead rate was 1150 my budgeted rate was $12. And let's go ahead here. And there we go. So since our rate, our actual rate was less than, our, than my budgeted variable overhead rate, then I know I've got a favorable price variance. So, and this is my price variance here, or spending variance in this case. Now let's take a look at our efficiency variance. Our efficiency variance is going to be the difference between our actual input quantity times budgeted rate and, and the flexible budget, budgeted input quantity allowed for actual output times budget rate. So the difference between these two numbers is going to be my efficiency variance. And in this case, when I take the difference, uh, I get a difference of $2,592. And that is unfavorable. Why? Because I used more quantity of direct labor hours than I should have. Remember, we calculated earlier that for 1,080 units, I should have only used four hours of direct labor. And so I should have only used 4,320 hours of direct labor. However, in the problem, I'm told I used 4,536. So I use a little over 200 hours more than I should have based on my flexible budget. So when I use more hours, my efficiency variance is always going to be unfavorable. And again, we never have a variance over here. That's a production volume variance. We will never see that for variable manufacturing overhead. We will see it in the next example for fixed manufacturing overhead. However, we will never see this for variable manufacturing overhead. So this is Leroy Meadows. Thank you for joining me and have a good day.